Hey there, welcome to this new part. In this part, we are going to learn about the sorted list. Let's have a look what we are going to learn in this video. We will learn what is sorted list, how to declare and initialize sorted list, how to perform few operations on sorted list. We will create a demo of all these things. Also, we will learn about the methods and properties which are available in the sorted list and loads of other things you are going to learn in this video. Let's have a look what is sorted list. Sorted list is a type of collection. Basically, this is also a non generic collection, and this sorted list is available in system.collections namespace. Sorted list stores data in key value format. So, just like the hash table, we have already learned hash table in previous part. Similar to the hash table, sorted list also store data in key value format. But there is a main difference sorted list stores data in sorted format based on key if we talk about the hash table whenever we were inserting the data in the hash table then there was no order maintained in that hash table now if we are working with sorted list and whenever you will add data to the sorted list then all the data the entire data will be automatically sorted based on the key of that sorted list collection in sorted list we can have any type of key so basically the key type is object we can insert any type of key to the sorted list but there is a main constraint once we define the type of the key so suppose you inserted your first element and the type of that key will be something suppose the type of that key is string then all the elements which we will insert in the hash table must have a key of type string Similarly, if the first element of the sorted list has a key of type integer, then all the elements of this hash table should have a key of integer type. It means if the first key is a string, then all other key must be a string. Or if the first key is integer, then all other key must be integer. These are few methods in the sorted list which are available to perform few operations we can add clear clone contains contains value get by index get key all the methods which are available in the sorted list are listed here we will learn all these methods one by one in this video also these are few properties which are also available in the sorted list let's go to the visual studio code and let's learn sorted list here i am in the command prompt and in the command prompt First, I have to create a new project. So I'll be using .NET CLI, .NET new, the type of the application, and you can give it a name. You can provide name as per your convenience. Let's open it in the editor. There we go. Let me close this welcome page and let's open the program with CS class. Here I have to include a namespace which is using system dot collections. We have included the namespace in the program and now we have to work with the sorted list. To work with the sorted list, you have to use a class. The name is also sorted list like this. And after using the class name, you have to give it a meaningful name for the variable. Suppose my sorted list. That's it. This is how you can declare your sorted list in the C-Shop. Now it's time to initialize it. To initialize it, we can use the name of the sorted list and then new sorted list. Let's see how many overloaded versions of the constructors are available in the sorted list. If I press F12 over here, you can use any one of them. First, we have the parameter lies. Second one, we can pass the compare. Third one, we can pass a dictionary. Then we can pass the initial capacity, which can be increased later when you will add few other elements. Then we can use the comparer and the capacity. Multiple overloaded versions are available over here. You can use any one of them based on your requirement. Also, you can initialize it in the next line or any other line in your program, or you can initialize it in the same line where you have declared it okay there is no problem in that now let's add few elements to this sorted list to add element we have to use a method which is 
add my sorted list we will be using the name of the sorted list dot add in this list you can see we have to pass two parameters first is key second is value and focus on the type of these parameters the type is object i can pass any type of value to these parameters suppose first i am writing here 12 this is the key and then i want to give it a value which is 20 let's add few more elements to this one okay so i have added these three elements in the sorted list and let's see how data works in the sorted list if i put a breakpoint over here and let press f5 in the sorted list you can see we have all three elements let's focus on the important part on the sorted list here on the left side we have all the keys then we have the type of the element and then on the right side we have the values but just focus on the order of these keys and values all the keys are in the sorted manner first we have 3 then 12 then 15 all the elements are in the sorted order if i add one more key to it suppose this is 0 and uh, i want to make it 9 if i press f5 now again you can see 0 is on the top it means the sorting is happening based on the key the value has nothing to do with the sorting but the sorting is happening on the key part this is the main difference in between hash table and the sorted list now let's try to add some other type of values to this sort list okay suppose now i'm trying to add a key which has a type of string let's press f5 and let's see what will happen here you will get an exception failed to compare two elements in the array why because earlier we were using integer here but now we are using a string that's why it is throwing an error the main condition is that you can use only one type of key in the same sorted list if you want to work with the string only then all the elements should have a key of type string okay now let's add few elements to this of string type suppose the key are in the random order there is no order of the keys but if i press f5 now and we will see whether the order is maintained or not you can see order is maintained on the top of the elements we have aa then bb cc dd all the sorting is happening on the alphabetical order if i try to insert null in the sorted list let's see what will happen and let's press f5 still you will get an error key cannot be null value so just focus on these points that's how you can add elements to your sorted list now let's print the values from the sorted list to print the values we can use for each loop here you can pass item and the name of your sorted list which is my sorted list okay and uh, let's cute a message here console dot right line i'm using dollar here to include the variables in the string p is equal to curly bracket item dot so you will see there is nothing like key and value here so you have to change your type from this where you have to use dictionary entry okay and now if i press the intelligence you will get the key and the value okay let me remove this hello world message and let me remove this pick point also let's press f5 here you can see on the console screen we have all the keys and the related values all the keys are in the sorted order first you can see a b and d we have everything in the sorted order let's try few other methods on this sorted list here is a list of all the methods which are available in the sorted list let's try all of them one by one first one is add add we have already learned second one is clear clear method is used to clear all the elements from this sorted list how my sorted list dot clear and let's see the return type of this 
clear method it is returning a void value so if i press f5 now you will see there is nothing on the console screen because there is no value in the sorted list we can also try it by using the breakpoint so you can see in the my sorted list the count is zero so this one is used to remove all the elements from sorted list then we have clone clone method is used to create a cell of copy of this sorted list let's try the clone method we can declare a new variable where my list to and my sorted list dot clone clone method is used to create a cell of copy of the current list to get the values from this new list we have to use for each loop and let me copy this one here let's paste it here to get the values immediately you will see there is an error here the compile time error and it is saying for each statement cannot operate on variable of type object so basically let's see what is the type of this list the type is object and we cannot operate for each loop on the object you know in order to print the values we have to cast it to the list now you can see we are getting all the values from the new variable that's how you can create a cell of copy of your sorted list the next one is contains and contains key these two methods are available to identify whether a particular key exists in your hash table or not to identify it we can use let me remove this one where is key and i can use my sorted list dot contains and in the contains you can pass the key suppose i'm passing here a a and uh, let's put a breakpoint over here to see the value let's press f5 now here you can see in each key the value is true because this exists in the sorted list that's why we are getting true if i'm passing any key which does not exist here then you will get a false value cool this is great working fine similarly you can use contains method there is no difference in between contains and contains key method next is contains value. So now we were validating whether a particular key exists or not. Now we can verify whether a particular value exists or not. In the value, you can pass any value. Suppose I'm passing a wrong value first, and then if I press F5, you can see the contains value is returning a false value because this value does not exist in the list. That's why we are getting false. If I'll pass something which exists here, suppose 294. This is the only value which we have. Let's press F5. Here you can see we are getting true value. Next is get by index. Get by index method is used to get the value from a particular index. Let's see how can we use it. We can simply use the name of the list. Then we can apply get by index method. And here we can pass the index. And here let's change this variable name. Suppose it is value. Okay. And we will see what will be the output in the value parameter. So focus the list is first we have BB, then we have AA, and then we have DB. But ultimately, all the data in sorted list is stored in sorted manner. So the list will be modified automatically, and the first element will be AA, the second element will be BB, and the third one will be DB. So if I talk about the index, at the zero index, the value will be AA, at the index one, the value will be BB. And at the index 2, the value will be dd. Let's verify the result here in the get by index method. Here you can see we are getting 291 because aa is at 0 index, bp at, at 1 index. You can see here. So we are getting 291 because this is available in the index 1. Next is get key. So get key is used to get a particular key from the sorted list based on the index. Next is get key list. Get key list method is used to get all the keys in sorted manner from the hash table. It will return only the keys, but all the keys will be in the sorted manner. Next is get value list. This will return all the values from the sorted list, but the values will be in the sorted manner. Next is index of key. If you need to return, if you need to get the index of a particular key, it means you know the name of the key but you do not know the index of that particular key so you can simply pass that key here and it will return an index value next is index of value similarly 
if you need to know the index of a particular value you can pass the value to it and it will return the index of that particular value next is remove remove method is used to remove a particular element if you pass a key to it in the remove method you can pass the key and that particular key will be removed from the sorted list along with the value next is remove at using the remove at method you can pass the index and the value on that particular index will be removed now these are few properties which are used in the sorted list first one is the count count property basically is used to get all the number of elements which are available in the sorted list next is capacity capacity returns an integer value and it tells how many more elements can be stored within the same memory next is is fix size is fix size property is used to identify whether the sort list is of type fixed or not next is is read only is read only is used to identify whether a sorted list is of type read only or not next is keys this is used to return all the keys from the sorted list next is values this is used to get all the values from the sorted that is all in this part i hope sorted list will be clear to you now if you like it hit the like button of the video tell me your feedback in the comment section share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching have a great day